Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, as in the name Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also shall to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And shall to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerely shall alarm. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit of power Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And the title of this video, Lord willing, is going to be the 144,000 and the innumerable multitude. All right. And also from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. <clears throat> and uh, the first scripture I'm going to start out with here is going to be uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40 says, let all things be done decently and in order. So the Lord has order. All right. So even within the elect, there's order. Okay. <clears throat> within the elect, there's order. There's a hundred. There's a. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, King David, the twelve, you know, and then you have the hundred and forty and four thousand, you know. So everything is done decently in order. And under the hundred and forty four thousand you're gonna have the uh, innumerable multitude. Under the innumerable multitude you're gonna have two thirds. Okay? And even with the uh another quick pre here, this is first Corinthians eleven and verse three it says, By what have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of a Mashiach is the Most High. All right, so the head of every man is a Mashiach. All right, so uh, uh, Yahweh Shai is above the man. All right, it says, and the head of every woman is the man. So the man is above the woman. It says, and the head of a Mashiach is the Most High. So the uh, so. Uh, Yahweh is over Yahweh Shah. You see? So everything is uh, in order with uh, <clears throat> with the Heavenly Father. And let me get Revelation 7, starting at verse 4, it says, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So you're going to have 144,000 of the tribes of Israel, all right, 12,000 from each tribe, from Judah all the way down to Issachar, all right, and we jump down to verse 9, it says, after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, so that's the men, women, and children, all right, that, that believe, you know, you're going to have men, <clears throat> you know, that may not go out to the highways and byways, you know, but they share videos, you know, they believe, they keep the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability, that's going to be delivered, all right, you're going to have those that come in in the 11th hour, all right, that uh, that believe in the time of trouble, all right, and you're going to have ch uh, women that took care of their husbands, were, was loyal, you're going to have women that cleave unto men of the Lord in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, humble women. All right, Isaiah 4 and 1, that's a prophecy. All right, where women going to come in, and you're going to have children of the, uh, you're going to have little children that's, uh, that's maybe sons or daughters of uh, believing men or women. All right, that's all going to come into this thing. All right, that's going to be delivered. And that says, and after this, I, after this, I beheld and lo, a great number of, I mean, so like a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongue stood before the Lamb and before the uh, stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with, clothed with robes and palms in their hands. All right, symbol of victory. All right, it says from all nations because we were scattered abroad and kindreds. All right, that word is uh, fule, meaning of the patriarch of the uh, patriarch of, of uh, Jacob. All right, so stemming from stemming from Jacob, Israelites, and people in tongues. All right, so you're going to have the 144,000, you're going to have the elect, 
I was assembling it up uh, the one third. So we can go here, Zechariah 13 and verse uh, 8, it says, And it shall come to pass that in the, that in the land, saith the Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two thirds. All right, so you got a, if you got one, uh, a complete pie, and it has four parts, you can break it up two thirds, 66%, 66.6, and you have one third of it. All right, 33%. All right, so that one third is the 144,000 in that innumerable multitude. It says, <clears throat> and I will bring the third part through the fire, out of that spiritual fire, these these uh, trials and tribulations, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. All right, so you're going to have the elect believing and calling on the true name uh, of the Heavenly Father and His Son, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Are you going to have that one third, the 144,000 and that innumerable multitude? All right, because you guys will have here. Uh, <coughs> All right, so you have the precept. This is a. Uh, This is Matthew chapter 10, and starting at verse 40. Matthew chapter 10, starting at verse 40, says, He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. All right, so if you receive in a prophet, all right, you ultimately receive him that sent the prophet, all right, which is... Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. It says, And he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent. Uh, I'm going to read that again. He that receiveth you receiveth me. All right. So if you receive a prophet, you receive Yahweh Shah. It says, And he that receiveth me, all right, Yahweh Shah receiveth him that sent me. So if you receive Yahweh Shah, you receive the Most High Yahweh. Verse 41 says, He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet. Shall receive a prophet's reward, man. All right, so what's the prophet's reward? Salvation. All right. It says, And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. <clears throat> you know, so a uh, prophet, a, what's a prophet? All right, somebody that's saying things before out there on the highways and byways doing the lessons throughout the week. It says, this is really the point for the for the innumerable multitude. It says, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones, the prophets, a uh, unto unto the to one of these little ones, a cup of cold water, only in the name of the of a disciple, verily, which means truly, I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. All right. So, if you were good to a prophet, all right helped out a prophet you know you're going to receive that prophet's reward man salvation all right and that's what you know you have a lot of uh <clears throat> that's why you have a lot of helpers man all right you have elect women you know making garments for brothers you know uh making garments for brothers you know giving brothers gifts man all right taking care of brothers when you, when needed all right even if you was out on the street man you just you gave the, the prophets you know even though we don't really ask but it's not going off you give prophets money you know put give them all water give them new bibles man the list goes on and on you will receive a prophet's award all right <clears throat> And let me go to, uh, let me actually go to 1 Corinthians 14. And verse. 
Yeah, let me get First Corinthians 14, starting at verse 34. It says, Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. All right, so one might say, <clears throat> you know, that women are prophets, man. All right, but women can prophesy, but they prophesy in their own way. Joel 2. In verse 20, 28, it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your, monk, and your young men shall see visions. All right? It says your daughters shall prophesy. So women can prophesy, you know, within dreams, man. All right? The Lord can give them a vision, and they can prophesy uh, within their dreams. Jacob's trouble dreams. All right, little uh, young, <coughs> young. It says young men. All right, and old men. All right, because that's a woman prophesying is through a dream. Because we just read in First Corinthians fourteen and thirty four that I uh, let your women keep silence in the churches, man. All right, because a great example is uh, is Romans one. Uh, I believe, actually, I believe it's Romans 16 and 1. Yeah, Romans 16 and 1, it says, I commend unto you, Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Chinchere, Chincheria. All right? So she was a servant of the church. So what was she doing? Maybe uh, just speculating, cleaning, you know, helping out with food, anything that Paul needed, sending letters. Because when you go down here, it says... Romans 16 and 27 says, To God only wise be glory through Yahweh Shai Mashiach forever. Amen. Written to the Romans from Corinthus and sent by Phoebe, servant of the church at Chinchurea. All right, so Phoebe sent uh, letters, man. You see? So doing, a, uh, doing, doing her, uh, her duties within the church. You see, that's how you have elect uh elect women all right the elect what it says one scripture it says the elect lady it says second john one and one it says the elder unto the elect lady and her children whom i love in the truth and not i only but also all they that have known the truth all right so you have elect women that's going to be a part of that number. Isaiah 4 and 1 referencing that, referencing, uh, that again. All right. And you got uh, from here. Let me get. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5 it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So the Lord has ordained, you know, his his 144,000, man, to be prophets, man. All right, where it says, I have reserved to me 7,000 that would not bow that knee down to Baal, man. All right, so that elect number. All right, so the, but the Lord ordained prophets, man. On. This is Luke 1 and 7. He says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which had been since the world began. So the Lord always used his uh his his prophets, man. Alright, and his prophets are going to be men. Let me just get a quick precept. Proverbs 8. 8 and 4 says, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Alright. Bun. Sons. Banyum. Banyum. And also Ezekiel. Believe it's Ezekiel thirty-four. Con Ezekiel thirty-four and verse. I'm gonna start at thirty. It says, "Thus shall they know that I, 
Yahweh their power and with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord Yahweh, and ye my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men, and I am your power, saith the Lord Yahweh. Alright, the flock of the Lord is, is men. So the Lord is dealing with the uh with the prophets, man. Alright, which are the hundred and forty four thousand which are men. And let me get Revelation 14. This is a lot getting me. Excuse me. This is Revelation 14 and 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him, and 140 and 4,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. All right, that's 144,000. All right, all men. All right, you know, having that father's name in their forehead, and it says, jumping down to verse three, it says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man can learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. All right, so you're gonna have 144 prophets you know, singing that, singing that one song, all right, which is the the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All right, it says in verse five, and in their mouth, uh, slack in verse four, these are they which were which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the land with us where he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and unto the Lamb. All right, so first fruits. Remember, everything being done decently and in order. You have in the 144,000, you know, those going to really be the, the top governors in the kingdom of heaven. It says, in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the before the throne of the Most High. And when you go to Revelations 2 and 26, it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations. That's going to start with the elect. All right, with, with Yahweh Shai, King David, uh, the twelve. And then you have the hundred and forty-four thousand. <clears throat> All right, and if it be the Lord's will, I'll close with this. Daniel's twelve and verse uh, thirteen. It says, "But go thy way, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days." All right, so we're standing in the lots. All right, what does it say? First Corinthians 14 and 35. Uh, verse. 1 Corinthians 14 and 32 says, In the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. All right, so if you are a prophet in your past life, you're going to come back as a prophet today. All right, coming back into your true lots. All right. <clears throat> so. I believe that was all the precepts I had to cover. You know, so this video was just going into the 144,000 and the innumerable multitude, man. All right. Everything is done decently and in order with Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right. So there's going to be a difference between uh, the 144,000 and the one third. You know, they all, I mean, and the uh, innumerable multitude. All right. <clears throat> They're all part of the elect. But remember, everything is in order. All right. You have rank. Okay. The Lord deals a rank. All right. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. And I'm also speaking of rank. All right. You have uh, King David, man. Okay. All right. What do you say about, uh, let me just close it with this. Because if you can receive it, all right, Peter is King David. It says, this is Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. It says, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. All right, thou art Peter. All right, Peter in the reincarnation is King David. It says, and upon this rock I will build my church. All right, so... Peter being the uh, 
being the head. All right. Peter being that head apostle. Okay. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory. Do unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball Shalom.